saying here, we have to be proactive. And uh, the way things have changed in that aspect with social media, we have to be active in Facebook and Twitter and things of that sort because we get a lot of information from those. When we get calls to the school, you know, sometimes it's about something that is on social media. Mm -hmm. So we have to be aware of that. I have to have my detectives that are trained in that to be aware of that in order to to know what to look for. And we find a lot of information on these kids' pages and, and about things that are coming up, things that are going on. I'll give an example, you know, kids put fights up on social media, you know, so you're able to get those, download those, see who's involved in that kind of stuff. Yeah. So that's a major way that, that our way of policing within the schools has changed. And it has to be a collaborative approach with us and the schools. Because when they get the information, they have to be able to convey it to us. And we have to be able to investigate that those types of things. Same thing with threats. Any type of threat made towards a school or anybody involved within that school, a lot of times there's stuff we get off of social media. And we have to be able to investigate that threat. So social media is so much more involved in police work and, and in what we do on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to schools and, and everything that we do. Eluding, going back to something you said about, and, and, and the colonel alluded to, crisis intervention training and mental health. That's a whole other ball game that we have to be aware of and, and, and we have to be trained on. And like the colonel alluded to, we train our officers in crisis intervention training so that they have some ideas on the things that they're dealing with. Now, when you start uh, putting that with children, now you got a whole other ball of wax. And I think one of the key components of that is going to be communication with the, with the people that are in the schools, the social workers, the principals, everybody involved. Because we all know there are way lot, a whole lot more kids out there now that are on medication than there have ever been. And we have to be aware of that stuff because that changes our approach. Now, you put the two together, mental health and social media, and you got yeah. something that you're really dealing with. Right. <clears throat>